This is why soil health is so important and we talk about pH levels and trying to get your pH up to a 7. Um, at the end of the day, the success of your food plot will be dependent on not, not necessarily the seed that you choose, uh, but more or less the, the preparation and, and your soil's um, ability to provide nutrients to those plants. So in other words, when your pH is a 7, which is neutral, that's the perfect level that we'd like, your plants can um, take in 100% of the nutrients available to them, whether it's the fertilizer you spread or the nutrients that are already in the soil. And that's what's allowed this big sexy plot to be so successful at just three weeks. Um, you've got your kale, you've got your rape, turnips, radish, um, four different brassicas that are gonna pull in a lot of nitrogen and need a lot of nutrients to maximize forage growth, both above ground and the big tap roots that we're used to seeing with the radishes and turnips. Three weeks in, pH of seven, um, these are results that are super realistic for you or anybody uh, as long as your pH is a 7 and that's why it's so important to check your pH, add lime if necessary to try to get to a 7 so those plants can take in all the nutrients that they need to maximize protein, maximize energy, um, and all those things that your deer are seeking. Um, deer need food to survive. They're going to seek out the most efficient way to get that food to provide the protein they need for growing antlers, um, providing milk, um, for growing fawns, for does, and they're gonna seek out those sources that provide everything they need. Big Sexy is that source. Whether it's protein in the greens or the energy in the tap roots come fall and winter, your pH level will determine the amount of protein energy available for your deer this fall.